So as well as actually grab, grabbing hold of a load of sediment and then sieving that to see what proportion is what size, the other thing you can do, same again, top, middle and bottom, is to pick 20 random pebbles. Now this is hard, you've got to try and be very random about it. So you need to go down to the thing, I didn't even close your eyes, just go like that and you pick a pebble. So I've picked this one and then you need to measure on its longest axis. So if you can see this pebble here, obviously you've got the shortest axis, um, axis across here. This is your longest axis going up. So you get your ruler, probably easier with a normal uh, ruler, but I've only got this one today. So you come up here and you can see that that's five centimetres long. So you record your longest axis, uh, axis each time along there. So that's five centimetres. The other thing you can also do is look at the roundness index. So there's a, um, a sheet that shows you different uh, angles of different sediments. So some are subangular, some are rounded, some are subrounded. Uh, there's a sheet that you can look at, and again, you can classify this pebble based on its shape and what it looks like. So you can use that as well. So two things, the long axis and how the shape of the pebble is.